This is probably going to be our largest senior class since I've been here. I think the most we've had is about 24, and I think we could have anywhere from 28 to 38 seniors. Uh, for a school our size, that's quite a few seniors, so I'm real proud of that. And I'm real proud that they've stayed in our program. They've been in our program since middle school, freshman, uh, junior varsity, and now varsity. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've been able to stay competitive through the years here is that uh, our kids have stayed in the program and stayed playing the game of football. Uh, but we do have a, a number of, of seniors, and uh, Chris Peralta, quarterback, has been a, a, he's a senior, and uh, we have Manuel Romero at fullback, Eli uh, uh, Gutierrez uh, at uh, at tailback, and then we have uh, Rutherford uh, at offensive tackle that we're going to move to guard. We have Danny Gordon that played for Grants uh, last year. He was ineligible, but he's going to be eligible this year. He's going to be playing tackle. He's a senior. And Kevin Garcia at guard uh, offensively, and David Martinez, as well as Andres Benavides and Diego Garcia uh, also. And then, uh, then Eli at tailback and Manuel Romero at fullback that got some experience. And then Nick uh, Aragon at wide receiver, you know. He, uh, so that, that's what we have, a good nucleus offensively. Uh, defensively, defensive end, we're gonna have Andres Benavides and uh, Rutherford uh, that got some experience on defense. Manuel Romero uh, that plays some offense, will be playing some defense too. Uh, Gunnar Robertson. Uh, is has a lot of potential for us also at linebacker and tight end. And uh, we have, uh, like I said, Nick. That, a lot of these kids play, we, you know, we will go both sides of the ball and stuff like that. So we've got basically, we've got a good uh, nucleus on Matthew Lucero, uh, Trujillo, uh, one of our cornerbacks, Trujillo. He had an outstanding year this year, and he's going to have a great year this year. He looks good already early in the year and all that. So uh, we, uh, we've got some experience this year coming back, and uh, so we're, we're happy for that. It's going to be one of our main strengths this year because we've got four starters back, the most we've ever had. The most we've, every year we've only had one returner. This year we have four, Andres Benavides at center. We have Kevin uh, Garcia at guard. We have David Martinez at, uh, at tackle. We have uh, Isaiah uh, Rutherford uh, that played tackle for us, complaining guard. He's looking great. And then we have Danny Gordon. He's probably the largest kid that we have. He's about six feet, about 280, 285. And uh, we've got good size in line. And the good thing that's impressive, they're all strong kids. They've all committed to the weight room and so forth. And they've had a good uh, spring and a good summer. And uh, so we're excited about our offensive line. And, and Coach Sanchez does a great job with them. And Coach Estrada helps him, but Coach Sanchez has been the line coach for a number of years here and does a great job with the offensive line. You know, I think our defense has always been kind of underrated. Uh, you're right. Uh, they don't get the publicity they should be getting. And uh, we run uh, basically a 4-3 defense and a 4-2-5. It depends on what sets we see and things like that. But... Uh, We've done a good job of uh, the kids get excited about playing defense. They know the importance of playing defense. So we always preach that you win championships by playing defense. And uh, our kids take a pride a lot in our defense. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because they should get a lot more recognition they're getting because we've had some pretty darn good defenses through the years. And uh, so we take a pride in that. And our coaches, uh, you know, uh, Terrell Trantham, when he was, he was here for two years, did a great job of coaching our defense. Uh, and, uh, of course, Barry McKinnon, that was with me for the first few years, three or four years, also had a lot of input. And, of course, Jeremy Newton uh, for two years. So we've been fortunate. We've had some good uh, defensive coordinators that I've been blessed with here that have done a good job of getting our kids ready to play defense. So... And then now this year, since we lost Terrell to Las Lunas as their head coach, and by the way, um, uh, he's going to make a great head coach, and I'm real happy for him, and he, he's done a great job here, and we wish him the best over there. And, uh, but Steve Contreras uh, has been uh, more on the offensive side of the ball since I've been here, but he has coached some defense. He's got a number of years of experience, and he's going to be handling the defense this year. And, of course, Lawrence Sanchez is also involved in the defense too, besides – Coach Baca and Coach Rael 
and we feel like that we've got a, a very good defensive staff. So we're, we're excited about our defense even this year, even though we lost some pretty good football players on defense uh, last year. But I think uh, potentially we have a chance to be pretty good on defense again. Our schedule is very competitive. There's no doubt about it. We're probably going to have one of the toughest schedules in the state. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And uh, I just think it's going to make us a better football team uh, because we're going to be playing quality uh, football teams and quality coaches and so forth. And uh, so it's good that our kids are going to be exposed to that kind of football uh, during our gun district season. And I think that if we can survive it and uh, uh, with, uh, with injuries and stuff like that, that it's going to make us more competitive once district starts. And uh, so, uh, but I'm glad, you know, we, you're right. We have Artesia, we have Garter, we have Moriarty, we have Farmington. And uh, who else is one of the, <laughs> the, whole uh, the, the, you know, plus our district <laughs> is going to be one of the toughest districts in the state. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, there's one other team that, uh, uh, that uh, I can't think of right now that we're playing non district because we're playing five non district teams. I think I named four. It's, uh, let's see, it's, 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 uh, it's Goddard, it's Artesia, it's Moriarty, it's Farmington. Who's the, uh, there's a fifth one. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can Let's see if you can find it. I can't think of it right now. Uh, and, uh, uh, God, who's that fifth one? I'll find it real quick. Let me take me a second. Are you guys still scheduling or scrimmaging Hobbs? Yes, we're going to still scrimmage okay, Hobbs. Okay, here we go. And then you could talk about the schedule okay. again so I could edit it. Okay. Um, it's Artesia, um, Moyerity, Goddard. Roswell in Farmington. That's right. Roswell. You know, and all these are, are quality teams and all been in the playoffs and so forth. So we got a, we got a tough schedule. And I think uh, we're playing three non-district games away and two district games at home. And then I think we have three district games here and two away when district starts. So there's no qu question about it that we're probably playing one of the toughest districts in the state. But again, I just want to reiterate that I think that it's going to make us a better football team. And, and uh, there's no doubt about it. we got a challenge ahead of us this year. There's no, no doubt about it. And then, of course, we're going to be scrimmaging Hobbs. And, of course, Hobbs had a super year last year. And I think there are a lot of great expectations for them this year. That's our scrimmage that will be in Rio Doso scrimmaging them I think the August 22nd, 23rd, something like that. I think it's a Thursday. And, uh, and uh, Rio Dulce. So uh, we've got a good scrimmage and a good non-district schedule, a strong district schedule, you know, the, all the teams in Valencia County. And then, of course, uh, then you have uh, Las Cruces uh, School, that their uh, centennial. Uh, they're going to be tough as Dornells. And then we have Santa Teresa and uh, Chaparral. Uh, so it's going to be a it's going to be a, a, a heck of a district race. There's no doubt about it.